I'm Healthy Emmy. I'm a nutritionist and a weight loss specialist, and I've personally worked one-on-one -on -one with over 3,500 clients to help them release weight on a plant-based diet. I've got all the secrets, and I'm sharing them with you today. If you're new here, hey, I'm Healthy Emmy. I'm the creator of the Slimon Starch Program. If you are interested in joining the Slimon Starch Program or learning more about how you can work with me as well as a mindset coach and a nutrition coach, click the link in the down bar. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you five before and after success stories and the key lessons that we can take away from it so that you can implement it in your journey and fast track your way to success. If you want to be successful, find somebody that's successful themselves and copy exactly exactly what they do. So today's insight is going to be invaluable on your journey. As a former teacher, I also am very much missing the whiteboard I had in my old office, but I'm thinking about bringing it back for my next office. So leave a comment and let me know if I should bring the whiteboard back. Starting out with my client, Dan. Dan lost about 100 pounds through the course of our work together. Before we started working together, he very much struggled with overeating and overeating on foods that weren't going to be the best for his health. Each key takeaway that I'm going to give you is either going to have alliteration or it's going to rhyme so that you can repeat these mantras to yourself. They're going to be sticky and keep you on the straight and narrow. So from Dan, we've learned that harm reduction is headway revolution. In terms of overeating, what harm reduction can look like is it can look like I'm still overeating, but I'm overeating on healthy foods. Or it can look like I'm still eating unhealthy foods, but I'm not overeating on them anymore. I found that the latter is a lot harder to tackle and actually to still engage in the behavior of overeating, but change the substance tends to be a lot easier for clients to ease into. We find that people are more so addicted to behaviors than they are substances. So we do find greater success with harm reduction when the behavior remains intact, but the substance changes. So Dan was struggling with overeating and for him, it was progress to still do the overeating, but to change the foods he was overeating on. So he would still have a lot of food and eat until he felt a little bit uncomfortable, but the food itself had changed. Now people can get lost in this black and white thinking where they think I'm still overeating and that's not what I want to do in the long term. Therefore, I'm not doing this correctly. I never will do this correctly. I'm a big fat failure. None of that is true because as we've learned from Dan, harm reduction is headway revolution. If you are able to be okay with the discomfort that comes from not doing this perfectly, but doing a little bit better and making progress, over time, that's going to produce dramatic results, which is exactly what we saw with Dan. By the time he had lost almost 100 pounds, he would admit, I still engage in some overeating, but I've changed the food that I'm overeating on. Now, please do not confuse this with a free pass to engage in overeating, especially if you're not currently doing this, don't start overeating. But instead, look at the principle of harm reduction. Ask yourself, what behaviors am I engaging in that because of the substance that I'm engaging in them with is really detrimental to my progress? And what can I do to change the substance so that the behavior that I'm not quite ready to let go of is still intact and I don't have to say goodbye to that yet, but the substance can change. Dan's full interview about his experience working with me in the Slim on Starch program is linked in the down bar. Next up, we are going pink for my client. We are talking about my client, Tammy. Now, Tammy, at the end of our work together when we first met years ago, and she's still a client of mine, I still see her every week, which is fantastic. But when we first worked together, she posted a photo in the Facebook group of her in a bikini. And she said, I'm rocking a bikini in my 40s. I live in Florida. Look how confident I feel. Now, Tammy taught us something for all you busy people out there. Let's see what she taught us. Too busy is the engine, not the excuse. Side note, I thought of all of these on my run this morning, so I, might, I must do some really, I should start rapping or poetry or something because I'm spitting bars with this alliteration. Something that Tammy and I talked about actually in our full interview, which is on my channel, is that Tammy is a very busy woman. She's a business owner. She actually lives in an RV between New Hampshire 
to Florida. And this is, I mean, if there's anything that's going to make it difficult for you to stay in routine, it's that you're all over the place. You have businesses that you run. You are living between two parts of the country. You might not always have access to grocery stores. She's an extremely busy woman. And we actually started working together right at the time of year in the season where her business would pick up and get very busy. And something that I asked her in her interview, I said, Tammy, how did you do this? How did you make time to do this program? Because it does require a time investment and get the success. And she said, I didn't have time to not do this program. So as opposed to, oh my goodness, I'm too busy to invest in my health and do the Slim on Starch program and do the food prepping and go grocery shopping and make time for this. Instead of that being her excuse, that was the catalyst. That was the engine that kept her going. Because if she wasn't properly fueled, if she didn't have the food thing figured out, if she was preoccupied with thoughts about her body and how it felt and that she didn't like how she felt in certain clothing, how was she expected to run a business? How was she expected to be fully present with her clients when she was buzzing in her head about food and diet and body image and all of that. She didn't want to deal with any of that. She didn't have time to deal with that incessant buzz and that low level confusion and frustration. She wanted to go out there and run her business, play tennis, enjoy Florida. So she had to do this program to make space for all of those things mentally and emotionally. So there's a saying too with meditation. If you can't meditate, if you're too busy to meditate for five minutes, you need to meditate for 10. And I think this applies to the Slimon Starch program. If you don't have time to do this program, then that means that you need the program more than anyone. Next up, I'm going red because my client Kristen looks so beautiful in the color red. Let's show her off. My client Kristen had a phenomenal transformation that I am so, so proud of. And she is so proud of herself for what she achieved through our work together. And what I really want to highlight about Kristen's journey is that for the first couple weeks, her weight actually went up. And sometimes I do see this and I'll tell you why. If people come from a low carb diet or crash dieting, or if they're not eating the SOS foods, if they're eating more of a standard American diet, then actually what can happen is when they start eating in line with the Slim on Starch guidelines and principles, their weight can actually go up. And the reason for that is because there's more food in transit, they're eating larger volumes of food, there's more fecal matter, their glycogen stores are up because the carbohydrate content is higher and also they're more hydrated, they have more water on them and all of these things can contribute to the number on the scale actually going up in the first couple of weeks. Now Kristen had such trust in me, in her coaches, in this program that she said, I'm gonna trust this process. So from Kristen, what we've learned is that patience and trust are an absolute must. If she didn't trust me and if she wasn't patient, she would have seen her weight go up and she would have run back to a low carb diet, the calorie counting, the over exercising, and she would have continued to be in the yo-yo for probably the rest of her life. But because she decided I'm going to invest my time, energy, resources, and trust into this program, I'm going to ride this out. I know that my coaches know what they're doing. I know that Emmy knows what she's doing. This ended up working for her. She was willing to play the long game, be patient, consistent, and trust in this process. And look what happened because of that, despite the fact that her weight went up at the beginning. I'm going to choose purple for the next color because... The next alliteration is with the letter P, and it is from my client, Wanda. Wanda has an unbelievable story. She actually had a heart attack, and that was her catalyst for saying, oh my God, I've got to cut the BS here. I really need to get serious about this. But from Wanda, we can learn something really insightful that I think a lot of people will resonate with. Wanda is a highly intelligent, as are all of my clients, a highly intelligent, well-informed, successful, determined woman. She had been to True North. She knows about all the doctors, Dr. McDougal, Dr. Lyle, Dr. Goldhammer, Gregor, Barnard, you name it. She knew it. She read the book. She knows it all. She knew it all. That wasn't her problem. The problem was that she was having trouble implementing consistently. And so from Wanda, what we've learned is that, and this is probably 
a mindset thing that you haven't heard people say before, this one's gonna hit home. And if this one hits home, I want you to comment that hit home. Knowledge is either your prison or your power. I'm sure you've heard the quote that I could not disagree more with, which is knowledge is power. Knowledge is powerless if it's not applied. And I cannot tell you the hundreds, thousands, thousands of people that I've personally spoken to and worked with that had the knowledge, but they didn't have the power because they weren't implementing it. And in this scenario, knowledge actually becomes your prison because you know what to do and you're not doing it. And you feel so frustrated and down on yourself and you feel like you're in this jail and in this prison. So knowledge is either your prison or it's your power and don't let it be your prison. Don't fall into the trap of knowing what to do and not doing it because I promise you that is one million times worse than actually just doing the thing that you know that you need to do. That discomfort is temporary, whereas the discomfort of not doing something is chronic, lifelong, and you're going to waste your one life not doing what you knew you were capable of doing. And if you struggle with this, I highly encourage you to join the Slim on Starch program so that you can close the gap between information and implementation with my personal help. And then we are using green for Gaylene. What I love so much about Gaylene is she is so proud of herself for releasing pounds after menopause. And Gaylene will be the first to say, Emmy, I found you when I was at rock bottom and I truly was at my wits end. And you can watch her full interview on my channel and her before and afters are just fabulous. She's always posting the Healthy Honeys group how proud of herself she is. And I just love that. I love that she celebrates herself. Now, the part of Gaylene's journey that really has such a learning lesson for us is rock bottom, I call them resilient roots. Because if you are currently at rock bottom or if you've been at rock bottom and you're somebody that's been successful and you're watching this video because you want to continue to be successful, first off, kudos to you. But also being at rock bottom is not the end game here. You don't go there and you just stay there. You can if you want to. But if you're watching this video, I don't think that that's going to happen for you because you're still watching this video, which shows that rock bottom are just the resilient roots that are the beginning of your success story. All great success stories start with somebody that's really struggling. How about the, you know, starting a computer company in a garage or the really difficult upbringing that somebody like Eminem had? We love these success stories because it shows that somebody is resilient and they are determined and they are unwilling to live life in that place anymore. And they want to to make something for themselves. And that's exactly what Gaylene did. We don't look at the fact that when people see that before and after, especially in the Healthy Honeys group, they say, wow, how inspiring is that? So your chapter one of being at rock bottom is the beginning of a really scintillating, captivating story. If you want to write your story that way, you have the power to do that. Remember, knowledge is either your power or your prison. If you're watching this video, then you have the knowledge and you know what you need to do. And if you don't know what you need to do or you do know what you need to do, uh, all signs point to you joining the Slim on Starch program anyway. But take that knowledge that you have and take the fact that you're at rock bottom and use that as the resilient roots to kickstart you on your journey to success. Be unwilling to stay in the place that you're in now. If you want to work with me in the Slim on Starch program and you want to fast track your way to success like every single person did here, then click the link in the down bar. And if you want more inspiration, each one of these clients has their full success story on my YouTube channel. That playlist is going to be linked on the screen after this one so you can get super inspired and learn some. My camera cut out right at the end. You can get super inspired and learn things from all of my terrific Slim on Starch clients. I am so proud of you for watching this video and making it all the way to the end. So if you did make it all the way to the end, I want you to comment resilient roots because cut out again from your resilient roots, you will rise and be successful. I love you, honey, and I'll see you in the next video. Woo!